Good morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountains TV 16. Joining us right here is Paula Graham who made her way over from Zeb's General Store across the street. Good morning, Paula. Good morning. How are How you are today? You? Right. We, we match. Well, yeah, I wore my pink, pink shirt. I got my uh, my belt, my Valentine's yeah. Day belt. You know, I can only wear it, so... You know, not that often. Better so. to be a week early than a day late and a dollar short. That's right, because next week it'll be after. So, yes. so you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, yep. and uh, a very popular holiday for for love. And uh, what a better place, or there isn't a better place than Zeb's to find out all these things. So we're going to talk about Absolutely. a variety. I like what you did today, mm -hmm. and but let's start off with candy. Candy, of course, of course is a traditional. Valentine's Day uh, gift candy and flowers. Right. And so let's talk about, you've got a couple different candies right here. Those are both we'll from with. Granite State Chocolate down in Manchester. And these are the, the soft centers and that's the assorted. And, and they come, of course, you know, you don't buy them with the paper up. It, right. It covers. And, uh, but it's a nice, uh, nice display right here. Right here. And uh, so you have that. Now, if you have somebody who uh, wants something sugar-free, you've right got sugar-free. From Havens of Maine, that's the sugar-free, um, your right, our left. And this is the high test, I guess you would say, the regular chocolates. Yeah, the Valentine and uh, chocolates. so another nice, delicious uh, treat from mm -hmm. Havens of Maine. And this is Swiss fudge from Van Otis Chocolate down in Manchester. Boy, it's new. I have a 92-year-old lady told me it was better than something, but I don't think we can say it on <laughs> family TV. But uh, another uh, nice thing, too. A nice box, too. Nice, they do. Just nice display. And I'm thinking got here. for the kids, or if you're up skiing and you don't want to get them a lot of chocolate, we've got sour cherry, chocolate-covered strawberry, and white chocolate raspberry popcorn. That's not, you know. No, well, it's a nice, nice thing to have. And, uh, of course, I have... Um, you know, one of my sons does not eat any candy at all. So, you know, Valentine's Day is always one of those things like it's like, well, I won't have candy. But maybe you don't want to do candy, do candy or you don't want to do, uh, you know, that part of it and you want something else. You've got a variety of ideas here. Absolutely. So somebody might like a nice little, especially if you're, they're in a condo and they like to have soap and, and hand cream. This is white birch from... Um, Seagrass Farms down in Greenland, and it's and they have probably twenty different scents. But white birch is a nice one in the winter time. Right. But and we it, put them together in a basket, and I just grabbed a few little baskets. If you have a basket or a different container, bring it in. We'll put it together for you. There you go. But that's a nice, uh, nice thing to have there in your either in your regular bathroom right. or your guest bathroom. Right. And if that's you're a Monica soy Geller. candle. This is bee silk, it's a, and it's a wonderful, why don't you look at it? Yeah. Uh, it's just, men come in all the time in Christmas and say, my, my, my wife likes bee silk, I have to have it for her stocking. And what is bee silk? It's a moisturizer. Is it made from bees? Bee, from, yeah. Bee, I'm not sure what the pr proper word is of the bee what. Oh. But uh, bees, I've never heard bee of bee silk. silk before. Yeah, it's a nice line. Mm, it tells. Very, very pricey, cool. but and very these cool. are, don't get it mixed up with the candy. Yes. Sugar cubes there by Hopper and Ari, and they're exfoliators. Right. You take it. it I right. was reading on the back. You take it in the shower and then you yeah. rub it on your your skin and it right. helps you exfoliate. Yeah. Do right. not put it in your coffee. Right. So. I don't uh, leave it where the kids can get it. Right. Because it mm. looks so looks too good to not eat. Right. But very interesting. Yeah. Made in Aruba. Yeah. What can be better? Okay. If they don't one? deliver on time, I'd be happy to fly down. David, Peter, Ray, That's pick it. it up. It's my favorite island. All right. Uh, so this is from the people Dell's Lemonade. I know Dell's very well. Uh, well, this is his wife, Nicole. And so it's luxuriously watermelon scented hand soap and body lotion. And this, of course, the lemon. Because if you're sending something out from Dell's, it's got to have... Something in the line has to be lemon. So what we have here, we have uh, Dell's Lemonade Hand and Body Soap and uh, Hand and Body Lotion. Does it smell like Dell's? Yeah, and it even has a package of, of your dry mix. Of the, the lemonade. The lemonade mix. I have some of that at home. i got to remember oh, that. Oh, it's great. Yeah. And this one is the watermelon scent and also the watermelon mix. Wow. If you have an ice cream maker, you can make good sorbet out of these things. That's uh, interesting. That's great sorbet. Mm, look at that. Look at those fine folks at Dell's coming up with something like yeah. that. Then for the gentlemen, 
We have some Bay Rum, Baldwin Company Bay Rum. It's been around for decades, and it's the favored Bay Rum. Oh, and it's a, an aftershave. It's an aftershave. Matthew wouldn't need this because Matthew doesn't shave. Oh, that's okay. All right, and this here is we could make a cute little gift freight. This is from yep. Badger, and you know, out in uh, Gilsum. So it's local, New Hampshire. Make beautiful shaving brush. There's a pre shave oil, and there's the shaving brush, and the shaving soap, and then there's the aftershave. And, you know, what's better than. Right from New Hampshire. Absolutely. You know, have a badger on your you face. Have a badger on yeah. your face. It's good. And also for your kids or anybody else, here's the little variety packs of their um, lip balm. Lip balm. Yeah. yeah. Badger balm. Badger, badger balm is great. Yeah. It's just really. It. We have them in the larger sticks also, but sometimes, you know, just give them a couple, one in each zip and pocket in their pocket. You don't want them to lose it all at the same time. That's actually, I was just going to say. Kids yeah. Used to. Yeah, they, yeah, it's a great, great product to have multiples of for that reason. So, and they have great massage oil. The lavender is very relaxing, and the uh, other one is ginger with arnica and cayenne pepper. So it gives you heat when you need. Yeah. If your muscles need some heat, you do the heat. Nice. We have a uh, goat's milk felted soap, and you keep it right in the felt, and so it's like a washcloth and. Get the soap in it, and really? they last for a long time. And they're uh, they're from Exeter, New Hampshire, the Acorn House Trading. And it's pineapple papaya. I just like saying that. We have a lot of different things, and you know, hot or cold, microwavable eye pack, sinus pack. I brought a lemon one also. This is to be heated, and we have that mint also. An eye pillow. These are well, nice. Well, you know, we, you know. When you're just, yeah, you need it. You, you need it. And then we have these little soap bowls. These wonderful little soaps from Cardigan Mountain. Lily does such a good job, and they're so pretty. And the scents, are all, all natural oils in that. She makes them herself. Do the Do you keep these in the cloth, or do you take these out of the? You cloth? take these, these out. Okay. These ones. But you got lilac and lavender. New yeah. Hampshire lilac. Lilacs, so. lavender. Sweet pea and clover. What was the other one I took? Uh, Coconut almond. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, you know. They're fun to smell. They are. Mm. And then, if I just thought, we have to do something fun for the men. You know. So I thought, a bouquet of... Beef uh, sticks. Beef sticks. Beef sticks. You know, jerky. Yeah. Yep. Is that, can you see it correctly? Yep. Am I holding it right? Yep. Spread them out. I was never good at playing cards because I couldn't spread them. So, I couldn't remember. Yeah. And, um, there you go. A beef stick bouquet. I that was kind of cute. We, you know, put that. And this has got 10 of them in it, but it's, it's, so it's just under $20. And what we can do, you know, smaller amounts, whatever. Plus, the, oh. but, but the, and there's oh, even more. There's even more. There's jewelry. These earrings. Okay, I put two of them on this morning. I don't know what happened to the other one. Sorry, we'll find it. You know, the dear St. Anthony come around, something's lost, must be found, and three Hail Marys, I'll find it. There you go. You know, but you, have have those, jewelry, and you have jewelry, we and have jewelry, we have little candy bracelets that say XOXO on them, and um, more candy. Of course, fudge, you know, Sunday's fudge day. Between 11 15 and what, maybe 1 30, all we do is fudge. We're all in each other's way doing the fudge, but we're happy to do it for you. Why is Sunday fudge day? They're all heading home. So they want fudge for the car. And, yeah, and the kids have their little bags of gummies and this and that. But oh, yeah. a lot of people do, you'd be surprised. A lot of people say, put my piece in a paper bag, but I need to take some home to my parents. You know, right. it's, it's nice. Well, that's great. And what are your hours this week? And next week is February vacation oh, week. Oh, next week so. is, yeah, till 9 o'clock every night, or maybe 10, I think 9. Right now, um, during the week, we close at 6, even tonight. Um, and we're open at 9 in the morning. But if you have to call us, there's always somebody there after 7 if you have questions Yeah, in, a, in the morning. Because it takes a while to put the house together. Absolutely. From the night before and restock. And we're getting a couple of trailer trucks full of candy that was supposed to come Friday. And I don't know where the poor men are, but I expect we'll get them Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, they're eating all the candy. I don't think so. They couldn't. They'd be dead. I mean, these are 18-wheelers full of candy full for of us. Full candy. Yeah. So... 
We'll be ready for Valentine's Day and ready for school, both school vacation weeks. The first is um, in southern New Hampshire, southern New England, and ours. And then the next week is I think maybe Ossipee down. Yeah, down something state. like that. Yeah. And uh, that's okay. If they have usually better snow and no so many crowds, but we're all we're ready and we're highly staffed. All the kids will be coming on school vacation to work. Like our college kids came home and worked all. Great. Christmas for us. We have, we have kids in Colorado and Utah for, on our staff going to school. So well, that's nice. awesome. Well, Paula, thanks so much for coming by, well, as always. Thanks for being here. And uh, don't forget to check out Zeb's general story. You can also check him out online. And our new aprons. And you have uh, stylish new aprons, so yeah. you look good. bigger. There you go. What can I say? Bigger, bigger um, logo, different color, and um, easier to wash, too. These don't bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, thank you so much, thank and we'll be back you. here in a minute on White Mountains Today.